Hello everyone and welcome back to another roadmap update video. This is as of the 2nd of November 2021. So let's have a look. The delayed West Cornwall local release is now ready for departure. This week's roadmap starts with the good news that the West Cornwall local will be fully released this week. Discovering problems late in the day is never an ideal situation, so we opted to delay it to ensure the route can be enjoyed without incident. And I see it's sort of good they did delay it because now we've got the layers and all that sort of stuff. Um, also, there's more good news for those who play Epic Games, as the full preserved collection is also now ready to release. So I, I know I had quite a few uh, questions about the free on free and other DLC and that sort of stuff. Yeah, it's coming um, very soon, obviously. Uh, also, elsewhere, the highly anticipated Vosola G6 loco from obviously Train Sim Germany is now in the testing phase, so it doesn't have too much further to go. And also, Sherman Hill and Horseshoe Curve are both in uh, testing as well already, so that's pretty cool. And also, the final change is the mysteriously named Spirit of Steam, and that is the development of steam power in Train Sim World has proved to be technically complex. Um, so we've taken our time to make sure that when it finally arrives, it will be every bit as we are inspiring as the real thing. And work has been going on this regard for the past nine months, and we're at the point where we can start to bring it to life, uh, which is cool. Um, let's see. Uh, the actual oh the route will remain a mystery for now, but do expect more information in coming months. So probably not going to be out for quite a while. The Spirit of Steam, probably not Christmas, maybe sort of Easter time. Not too sure. Anyway, on to next arrival, preserved collection release on the Epic Games Store and obviously the West Cornwall local. Upcoming is the main special up barn scenario planner expansion, and then same for the baby bullets. Uh, Peninsula Corridor preservation update. Uh, Russell Nord Preservation Update, Rush Hour Passenger System, Add Rail Driver Support to Preserve Collection, the Vosola G6 for obviously the Ryan Rutt Austin, Sherman Hill with the SD70 ACE and the SD40-2, and the Horseshoe Curve, uh, obviously Altoona to Johnstown and South Fork with the ES44 AC and the GP38-2. Uh, which I will hopefully stream those two routes on Train Simulator very shortly, so do keep an eye out for that if you want to have a sort of preview of it. And also an update to the London commuter. And in progress, uh, well, no, in production, we have Train Summer 2 Rush Hour, Steam Update, Improved Cloud Visuals, Oakfield Subdivision Preservation Update, Dovetail Live Rewards, Add Crossing Gates to Preserved Collection, Add PIS to Preserved Collection, Add Full Length Platform Climb Up Function for Preserved Collection, Livery Designer Compatibility for Preserved Collection, Memory Use Optimization, User Guides and Manuals, Add New Skybox and Road Traffic to Preserved Collection, and obviously the DB. DBBR 420 for the Hofstrecker Munich Augsburg, the DBBR 232 diesel locomotive for Russell Nord, uh, those are both by TSG, and also the Farrander Rampe Dresden to Chemnitz, so I'll just call it the yeah, Dresden's Chemnitz, obviously the 612 and the 143. And also an upgrade, PlayStation 5 add-on limit fix. Very, very good to hear. And then in the planning, we've got the Scenario Planner 2.0, Livery Designer 2.0, the PlayStation 4 to 5 Profile Transfer, and the Spirit of Steam, the first release. Oh, so that's still in planning. Obviously, it's usually, I think, two months of planning and four months of development. So still quite a way off for me, probably around April, Easter time. Uh, or maybe even for next summer, who knows. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it from me. Obviously, hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Obviously, do... Uh, comment below any feedback um, yeah what is, what's your thoughts on it uh, but apart from that thanks for coming in obviously we'll find a link in the description to the discord server to the paypal and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel and also what did you think of the new intro uh, another awesome one there by Amanda um, when it comes to editing stuff I'm really not good <laughs> so uh, yeah Amanda is a star when it comes to editing stuff up but yeah what did you think of the outro and intro, intro and outro you haven't seen the outro yet but you're about to but anyway that's good for me thanks for coming in and I hopefully see you in the next one see you all take care bye guys